Several people have been shot at a grocery store in Tucson, Arizona, and a spokesman for the Pima County Sheriff's Department says that among the victims, or included in the victims, are at least 12 people. They describe them as injured. They do not use the word wounded. The shooting reportedly took place around 10 a.m. local time. That would have been noon Eastern time. And now we have heard from the Tucson Citizens newspaper that among those who may have been wounded was Congresswoman Gabrielle Gifford, who is a Democrat with the House of Representatives. The reason this is noted is she had an event taking place at this grocery store, which is a Safeway in Tucson, Arizona. It was described as a congressperson on your corner kind of gathering. These are often held by people in Congress where they go back and meet with their constituents. What is notable here is that an event like that would have been posted. In fact, it was on the Congresswoman's website, and it was stated that this was her first Congress on your corner of the year to be held Saturday, January 8th at the supermarket in northwest Tucson. So it appears that shots have been fired. According to the public information officer of the Pima County Sheriff's Department, a dozen people have been injured and that there have been people transported to the Northwest Medical Center in Tucson. Okay, guys, I got a major, major news story that I think is very significant about the woman that was shot by the kid from Arizona. Um, now, I did, a, I did a news story on this before my channel was deleted, and I, I did have the video footage of that and my email to show that YouTube did censor me for this story. So they may try to do it again. This is a this is a very interesting story. I think that there have ha, I, to me there may be some kind of government thing going on here. But if you look at the videos that I posted on this channel, it'll show my email that said that it was deleted because of the video screenshots that I was giving of the the shooter and his YouTube account. Now I'm giving you footage of the one that was shot, the Democrat Senator, or what was she? Uh, yeah, Representative uh, Giffords. Look at who she subscribes to. Do you guys find this interesting? That one of the subscribers is the very man Lee Lochner. Do you find that that to be odd? Why is this? Is there something that I'm missing here? She's only got two two subscriptions. One of them is Republican, who is this, Congressman Skelton? Today our committee Ike Skelton? testimony about the management well, let me of see who this is. National Cemetery. Representing the 4th District of Missouri. 
Now, I don't know. I guess he's the representative for Missouri. But this really just blows me away. Why would she have subscribed to this guy? Is there something going on here? Is this a real YouTube account? Can somebody verify this? This YouTube account has been open since the 2008 of uh, February. Something very strange is happening here, and I don't understand what this means. As you know, six people did not survive Saturday's attack. They included the federal judge the sheriff just mentioned, an aide to Congresswoman Giffords, and the youngest victim, nine-year-old Christina Taylor Green. Like most little girls, she liked to sing and dance. But Christina Taylor was also the only girl on her Little League team. She hoped one day to play in the major leagues, and she was born to baseball. Her grandfather, Dallas Green, managed the Philadelphia Phillies, leading them to win the 1980 World Series. A straight-A student just elected to the student council, Christina Taylor wanted to learn more about politics. So she went with a neighbor to the Congress on Your Corner event Saturday afternoon, hoping to meet Congresswoman Giffords. She was getting interested in politics and government, and that's why she wanted to go see the Congresswoman. She got involved in the, watching the presidential election and really started getting excited about the politics. Gosh, she was only seven years old then. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very mature for her age. Very she, young age. But she, she, she definitely had an opinion on the matter. My son was supposed to be there too. How's he doing? He's hanging in there. They were very, very close, so it's they were been inseparable. really hard. He is doing pretty good right now. Right. But I, I worry about I worry about him. As, as he realizes, it's more permanent. I know you want the whole world to know more about Christina. You called her the best daughter in the world. Tell me about her. She was a very strong wealth, very opinionated. She truly just wanted to be helpful in the community and help others and uh, just get involved. She was always wanting to get involved. You know, when you talk about her, you describe her in the same way that people actually describe Congresswoman Giffords, someone passionate about everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She was very good with people, yet tenacious. I, th I think that would have been a good quality in, in politics. Born on September 11th, 2001, Christina Taylor was featured in the book Faces of Hope, Babies Born on 9-11. That really meant something to her, didn't it? She was just proud of being one of the Faces of Hope because she didn't really look at 9-11 as so much a tragedy like the rest of us did. She looked at it as an opportunity for change, for hope. She just kept on saying that everything's going to get better, people are going to start loving each other more, come together, forgive each other, stop disrespecting each other, and that there's going to be an end to all this turmoil. So she just, she always, she always wanted that, she always wanted peace.